What's up guys, Ian from iHelpCorner.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to activate iOS 5. This is if you have an iPhone 3GS or 4, not the 4S. So don't try this if you have a 4S. Anyways, if you're getting this message, activation failed, please try, please answer the SIM card. And then you're going to need to wa watch this video. Also, if it says the SIM card is not compatible, this will also work. To start off, have your iPhone plugged into your computer and then take out the SIM card. You know, just put a paper clip in there and then take out the SIM card. Once that's done, set your iPhone aside and go to your computer. You're going to need to download two things. One is the firmware file for your device and the other is Red Snow 0.9.10 Beta 6. The links to both of these are found in the video description. Anyways, once that's downloaded, just go to Red Snow. If you're in Windows 7, if you have a Mac, don't do this. Windows 7 only. Right click, go to Properties, go to Compatibility, run this program in compatibility mode for Windows XP, Service Pack 3, and run it as an administrator. Hit Apply, then hit OK, and you're ready to start. First thing you need to do is go to Red Snow, left click on it twice, open it up, and you're going to need to click on this extras tab. If it shows your iPhone right here, connected, should say connected 5.1, that's good. Anyways, go to the extras tab, go to where it says select IPSW, click on it, and find the 5.1 IPSW for your device. Select it, it'll say it has been successfully identified, hit OK. It's going to ask you if you have a new, new boot ROM or old boot ROM. Figure that out by just uh, going to your iPhone and then when you tap this information you can figure out everything from there. Anyways, once you figure it out, so just click whatever you need to click. I'm new boot ROM so I'll hit yes. And you're going to hit back right here. Go to where it says jailbreak and click on it. It's going to wait for all this patch and kernel to load. Okay, once that's done you're going to click on install Cydia and that's it. Do not uh, tick mark any of these boxes if you do not know what you're doing. All you need to do is hit install Cydia. You do not need deactivate. The thing is, just make sure there's no SIM card in here. If you leave a SIM card in here, it won't work. So anyways, just hit install Cydia. It's going to tell you normal mode. Uh, what you need to do now is put it into a state called DFU mode. So what you're going to do is power off your iPhone first. Slide to power off. Okay, once your iPhone is powered off, turn it on, and then hold both the home and the power button. The Apple will shut off, continue holding the both buttons for about three more seconds. One, two, three, release the power button, continue holding the home button, and you're going to see this move on its own, that means you can let go. It moves, so now we can just set our iPhone aside, and go to right here where it says Red Snow, and leave it alone, and it's going to do everything by itself. Your iPhone will have some stuff like writing going on it. I'll zoom out so you can see that. It's not important, just give it a minute. This process will take anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes, so don't worry, be patient, and I'll be back once everything is done, and I'll show you what to do from here. Don't leave because there's one more important step you have to do afterwards. You guys might be worried about this moving application step because this is going to take a while, like I warned you guys, 5 to 10 minutes. So don't worry, your iPhone isn't messed up, it will pass it, see? Mine was stuck on the moving applications for quite a bit, and now it's on installing bundles. The rest will go by very smoothly, so I'll be back once everything is done. So anyways, what you're going to do is just go back where it says Red Snow. Hit select IPSW again. Find the 5.1 firmware file for your device. Hit OK, you know the same thing, new boot ROM, old boot ROM. And then go back. And then you can, I'm sorry, go back to extras and then go to where it says just boot tethered now. See, it's the first thing on the top. Just boot tethered now. So just click on that and this is really it. All you got to do is put your iPhone into DFU mode one more time. So what you're going to do is hold both the home and the power button. And it's going to power off and continue holding it for about three more seconds. One, two, three. Release the power button, continue holding the home button. And it's going to move by itself, and then that means you can let go. 
so it moves by itself, let go, put your iPhone aside. It's going to upload the first stage and then you're going to see like a pineapple thing on your iPhone. Don't worry, it's just temporary and we'll be back once everything is done. This was that pineapple thing I was talking about. It's just going to run some software right now so you can get your iPhone up and running. This is what booting tethered is. Basically every time you turn your iPhone off and on you're going to have to redo this boot tethered process. The good news is everything you downloaded isn't erased every time you do this. But the bad news is if you install anything from Cydia, you know, you jailbroke it, then you're going to have to redo this every time you turn it off and on. If you're unlocking, you're also going to have to do this. If you're not unlocked and you just did this to hacktivate, the good news is it might or might not make you do this every time, but uh, any Cydia apps will require that you boot tethered. Anyways, it's powering up right now, so we'll just check it out. Okay, slide, and then what you're going to do is hit English, United States, or whatever country you're in. Find your Wi-Fi already connected, and then it's just going to skip it. See, there's no more SIM card message. Set it up as a new iPhone. You can skip this step, and it's going to skip. Hit Agree. Don't send. Start using your iPhone, and there you go. You've been activated, and like I said, everything will work until you power it off. If And then once you power it off, it's going to make you boot tethered with the red snow. Anyways, I hope you guys liked watching this video. Please comment, rate, subscribe. I really appreciate all you guys watching my videos and subscribing. I never thought I'd get 3 million views, and I really appreciate it. Thank you.